In Japan, Naoki Ido is something of a rarity, a private gun owner. Out on a hunt in the shadow of Mount Fuji, Ido only got his gun after passing some of the most stringent tests of any developed country. You need to take a written exam, have psychiatric tests, and police will make inquiries about you. There's a lot of effort, and it took me nine months to get my license. And a license only for a shotgun or an air rifle. Even those are kept under the tightest security in Japan's few gun shops. No handguns or semi-automatics here. In America, gun ownership starts with the law, the US Constitution. In Japan, it ends with it. A 1958 act says no person shall possess a firearm. If you want one, you have to show why. The result, Japan has low gun ownership and even lower gun-related deaths. Barely a dozen a year, one for every 10 million of its citizens. Japanese people are pacifists. They care for the others and are afraid of becoming perpetrators. Rather than fearing they might become victims of guns, they have chosen not to have anything to do with them. Those few gun owners who do exist know ownership is a privilege here, not a right, making them even more conscious of the weapon in their hands. Whenever there is an incident involving guns, they make the regulations even more stringent. That is why I make sure I never make a mistake when I am hunting. The only thing in danger from Edo's weapon, the animal unlucky enough to be caught in his sights. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Japan.